Hi guys, this is the Benjamin Zulu show and as usual, this is where wisdom is actually uh, disseminated into your heads to make better choices. Now, today we want to make you understand the problem with cohabiting because we are in days where cohabiting is, is, is becoming a norm. We are normalizing cohabiting. But we, little do we, real, do we realize that how far you go in your marriage depends on how well you began your relationship. Benjamin, what's wrong with cohabiting? Cohabiting complicates your life. Okay. It's as simple as that. But why are we attracted to it? Because it's easier to come by than marriage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People are afraid of being alone and finding a person to commit and marry takes too long, takes too much searching. But finding a person who, let's stay together is to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Cohabiting is marketable because it requires very little. It's a counterfeit of marriage. Yeah. It's the counterfeit of coupling. It's the counterfeit of becoming a couple, married. It's 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 a short it's shorthand. Now, although it is very attractive because there are people who cohabited and later married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are the ones people use as example yeah. that it can lead to marriage. Mm -hmm. We are trying to learn each other. One problem you have with uh, uh, cohabiting is that you do not do enough due diligence thinking about lifelong mm -hmm. union. When you're moving in with a person, with a lady, you are not trying to examine them as potential mate for life. Mm -hmm. You end up looking at the present. You end up looking at dynamics. We live here because work is nearer. Yes. <laughs> Corona, your work went down. Let me accommodate you for now. I cannot, instead of paying two rents, Come, we pay only one rent. So, in other words, circumstances are bringing you together. Exactly. Cohabiting can be brought by circumstances that have nothing to do with your futures. Mm. It's a passing situation. The people started living together because one left, she left her things in your house. Yes. Mm. It's not her who came first, it's the things. <laughs> her suitcase, her sufria, her utensils. You're keeping for her until some time. When she comes, she spends a night there, weekend there, da, 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 like that. When people cohabit many times, it's not for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. Now, the cohabiting involves sex. Yeah. In nearly all the cases of man and woman, cohabiting is about it's doing what couples will be doing without the structure of marriage. And can I tell you the disaster of this generation? This generation wants sex without the emotions and the commitment that comes with it. Mm -hmm. They want the rights without taking the responsibility. They want you to play the man without them playing the wife. The wife yeah. There are many women who are saying they can't stand the idea of wife, but they want you as a man. Mm -hmm. There are many men who are saying they don't want to commit one woman, but they want to use this woman. The, the problem with the cohabiting, the problem with moving in together without thinking about long life is because you lift your eyes from what will count in the end to think about. Uh, the current. Now, the problem is this. If you ignore long-term consequences because of present situations, they will still catch up with you. Mm -hmm. The day you hear a woman describing how a monster, the husband is. <laughs> we have lived 10 years. We have two children. He has never gone to see my people. He is cheating all over. He is lazy. He is sleeping in the house. Usually it was cohabiting. Mm -hmm. it, it was cohabiting. If she, were, she was thinking about him as a husband, she would have evaluated him with a higher scale. Yeah. People, people object and say, even if you marry officially, he can still cheat, he can still leave you. If you marry officially, you have eliminated many con men, mm -hmm. many con women. The process of getting married in a ceremony, it's very important to get married in a ceremony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you that good things are not acquired overnight. Don't acquire a building like this overnight. overnight yeah. You can start the process of acquiring it. It's doing search in the land registry, paying the deposit maybe, you submitting papers, you know, going to the board. If acquiring a major piece of land has a process, mm -hmm. how about acquiring a wife? Should it, should it be overnight? When we parted, this, you, you are single now, you tell me, I'm no longer single, don't call me single again. Mm -hmm. How did you get married overnight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> acquiring major things, changing transitions in life should follow a process. Okay. You must never rush what you want to last forever. Mm -hmm. Cohabiting rushes what you want to be permanent. If you want the thing to stay, if you want the thing to take long, you must give it its due respect. Mm -hmm. so let it flow with the faces of life. So instead of moving into the person's house, 
learn them and see whether they are good for you. Mm -hmm. Another cohabiting comes because of pregnancy. And the pregnancy games from foolish, stupid, careless sex. Can you imagine mm -hmm. deciding for life because you met and you had sex? Brahma, three minutes of heavy breathing determined your wife. How much wisdom is that? <laughs> Brahma, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> she got pregnant. Oh, now there's a stupid. Just come so that we bring up our child together. Mm -hmm. Just like that, you're married. Now you're starting to discover what is this I got tied to. Yeah. What kind of woman is this? Are we good? Can we converse? Huh? Brahma, you don't test compatibility in the bedroom. You mm -hmm. test it in the boardroom. Mm -hmm. You test in the sitting room. You test it in the talking, on phone, conversation, conversing. Do you think in the same direction? Can you come up with ideas? Can you collaborate? Can you harmon harmoniously work together as a team? Mm -hmm. That is what it, it means to get a wife. Brahma, there are many qualities of couples. I wish I want to describe the best cup, kind of couple for you. Okay. So that you can go far in life. Ford, the guy who started the Ford Motor Company, was believed by his wife only. He wanted to, inv to invent a horseless carriage. All cars were pulled by horses. Those days. Mm -hmm. Ford was trying to invent a car that is driving itself. It was insane. Are you aware that the guy, the guy who, tried to, who tried to invent radio was actually taken to the psychiatric hospital? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. By some people. Mm -hmm. The thing that you're working with today, yes. the guy was not insane <laughs> for imagining it. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Imagine, he, he told them, I want, to, I want to broadcast the voice on empty space. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you said? I want to broadcast message. <laughs> this guy is no. <laughs> <laughs> Your woman will believe ideas that others will think are crazy. Mm -hmm. And for her believing in you, you'll be able to accomplish it. In cohabiting, you don't, that's, on, that's not how you evaluated the woman. You evaluated her because of her body, how she feels. Let me tell you. I told you most women are anatomically the same. Yeah. <laughs> Approximately. <laughs> don't test. Drive. Don't check women in bed. Check how they think. Mm -hmm. According to, if you want to know whether they are functional sexually, you can use a guy now. You can use your counselor. You can use the right professionals. Even if you try to sleep with that to say whether it is possible, uh, she can do it. You, she, it can work that day only to realize there's something you did not see. Mm -hmm. Having sex is not proper examination. Yeah. And it has too many evils. When you weigh pros and cons, I strongly advise against mm -hmm. it. I strongly advise that once you reach to a place where um, you're thinking of settling for life, take your due diligence. Mm -hmm. You don't buy a car by somehow staying with it until you're already stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what cohabitation means. We are <laughs> until it's stuck. Until we are stuck <laughs> together. <laughs> because time goes and it works against you. Yes. You become associated. Like you're already, you know, you, you, and you come to realize that's how men find themselves the woman with children. Because we never asked. You did not find out whether she can be a wife. You tried to have sex with her, then you got hooked. Mm -hmm. It's very unfortunate and it's very disastrous. When is a when is a man, you forget that um, life. You are did I tell you that marrying will determine the direction of your life? Mm -hmm. Very true. I know society tells you marrying determines your marital status. That's mm -hmm. what they recognize immediately. Mm -hmm. But it's the direction where you go after that. Many men. It's the woman supporting them behind the scenes mm -hmm. that makes them strong. I am one of them. It's the woman whom I know I am backed up. I don't have to worry about something. Mm -hmm. Like food. Don't worry about that. Just food. Yes. I know bachelors understand that. Mm -hmm. There's a condition that is very common in bachelors. Stomach infections. <laughs> because they eat everywhere. <laughs> they eat, it's not food. Eat there, eat there, eat here. It's already too late. Tired. You know, you're running all, you're sure, all, you're alive. And many times you are, you forgot to eat. Mm -hmm. You realize I'm so weak. Oh, I've not eaten. <laughs> you know, many times I've, 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 I've seen situations where I can overcome challenges when I am with a wife. And there before, I used to meet same challenges I could not meet. Now I don't know when last I took stomach infection medication. That time I knew it off head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, medication, take them until you also become a, a, an expert. Yeah. <laughs> Experience. Now I've forgotten them. There's clean food. I can eat uh, this, you know. So, cohabiting removes 
the sight of the far dangers because you're caught up in the present emotions. Emotions. You are about to give us the types of marriages. Uh, quality. This. Yes, quality. Very good. Mm -hmm. Low grade. Low grade marriage. <laughs> <laughs> low grade marriage is where compatibility compa compatibility is very low. Mm -hmm. You came together because of cohabiting. Mm -hmm. Cohabiting produces the worst grade of marriage. For the reasons after you that you do not check them for life. You check them for a night. Mm -hmm. Then the night turns to a complication, and the complication found you already stuck together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Society does not understand. Okay, we already have a child, but we are not compatible. Hey, you already have a child, my friend. Society will push you together. Mm -hmm. You find yourself married to a person who can't even do anything together. You can't think alike. You can't move. You cannot move things. So, low grade is where we call it in Kiswahili, unavumilia. You are, you are forbearing. Yes. So, the, this common saying where, just say with his tongue, don't worry, just persevere, came from low grade marriages. Mm -hmm. Where people married for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Where people married because they are already entangled. Where people married because they're already in a situation. Mm -hmm. Where people married because they realize they did not make decisions. They let things slide. They let things happen. They got tempted, carried away, overwhelmed until they were already, oh my God, where are we now? All right. So let's just try to make it work. Low grade marriage. Mm -hmm. That's how they come about. The second marriage use is the most common, uh, which you will see around is called marriages of convenience. Mm -hmm. When the time has come for you to marry and you find another one whose time has come for you to marry and you are not enemies. Mm. Yeah. You're not especially connected deeply, but you understand the world. You are learned people, you are decent people, and uh, you can always see couples of convenience because there's no chemistry. Mm -hmm. What is there is politeness. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is the chemistry and politeness. <laughs> chemistry is playful. You can see the spark. You can see the excitement. Mm -hmm. You can see the, them looking eye to eye. Eye to eye is very sexually charged between man and woman. But those glances are very common in this chemistry. Playfulness. And they are not new to each other. You can see holding hands or playfulness. You can see rhyme. It's called a soul connection. Mm -hmm. These people reach a point where they have telepathy. When you have the higher level of marriage. So the middle marriage is what people are using. Uh, convenience. They came together because they are clean human beings and they were suggested by their friends. Mm -hmm. You and so and so can do very well. Be very careful with suggestions from friends because they can't see chemistry. Yeah. They only see how convenient, how appropriate you are for each other. You're both Christians. You're principled people. You're uh, well ordered. If you're not careful, the two of you, because you are tired of searching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Many times you usually pick convenience because you're tired. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm not finding any. There's, no, no, there's nothing else in the market. Let me just settle for mm -hmm. this one. So it's not the woman you sought after. It's the woman you settled for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Convenience you settled for each other because you are tired. Ah. You can make do. <laughs> 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 so low grade marriage, people were caught by their unthinking acts. Yes. In marriages of convenience, you succumbed to fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you are being the market around. Can you imagine two years? Even me. I, Think this market. Good people are no longer there. <laughs> <laughs> so you comfort each other. Uh, travelers who are already too tired. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Uh, then you sign paper. You can see them signing certificates and there's dead silence in the room. Can you imagine? Have you gone to a wedding that has no chemistry, mm -hmm. no spark, no energy, no vibe? <laughs> Everything is flat. <laughs> Have you ever seen people seeing like uh, the choir of Karumaindo PCA? Just, just. And it's a wedding. There's no excitement, no mm -hmm. vibe, mm -hmm. no energy. Wedding is the beginning of a new thing. When two people are marrying, when they are deeply connected, mm -hmm. the energy spreads in the whole room. Mm -hmm. The energy, because they keep smiling, laughing, making jokes. The people keep laughing. Huh? Have you ever been embarrassed when you go to your wedding and the brother starts crying? <laughs> ah, Brahman, we were once embarrassed. Can you imagine? <laughs> He's crying uncontrollably and he's not saying why he's crying. You know, we expect their emotions on a wedding, so we, are, we understand. Mm. But when it goes too far, one time it's the bride who was crying and he should be taken somewhere to cry first. <laughs> Marriages of convenience, where you have settled, you usually knock to your senses when the reality is, is presented. Now I pronounce you husband. Huh? <laughs> 
Do you take Bramwell to do you, uh, 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 where are we? <coughs> Some people wake up too late. Yeah. They went to the motion. They went to the motion until the rubber meets the rope. Mm -hmm. Now they are supposed to sign up and become a person's wife and they realize they're not ready for it. So marriages of convenience come from you are searching the people get tired of searching when they're searching the wrong way. Mm -hmm. When they're impatient, when they don't understand the process, when they're using their heart to search. Mm -hmm. I also remember, I admit, I got tired. Brahma, I searched for two years. Oh my God, I think I'm tired. It is tiresome. If you search right, you feel the fatigue. Mm -hmm. Those who don't feel the fatigue because they did not search right, they settled instead of getting the one is appropriate for them. Yeah. Can I also tell you another thing? I searched until I was tired. Mm -hmm. The car. Yeah. The plot. You should not begin to think it's only the wife who involves searching. Mm -hmm. Brother, the day you want to buy anything significant that will move your life, even getting a house to rent. Yeah. Huh? Getting a car, plot, everything involves searching, energy, fatigue. Mm -hmm. Please expect it. Stop expecting getting away to be easier. She's on the same scale of importance. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. If we're not getting a shoe, it's pretty easy if you, when you know where to find them. Mm -hmm. When you know where they sell and the, the amount of money you can buy. But a suit, the higher you go, the higher you go, the more the difficulty. The wife is on top of the scales. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. So we are saying that that level of marriage now is the right marriage. Mm -hmm. Your soulmate, the person you are deeply friends, the person you have endless stories, the person you can lie in silence and you understand each other. Mm -hmm. You understand each other's silences. You know you are so mad and you can understand silences. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are too uncomfortable ah. with the silences. <laughs> exactly. They have to fill them up with words. Yes. They have to compensate and say this and say the other. So one of the things you need to realize is you know you belong together when you can talk mm -hmm. and walk with the glances and body language and you almost have telepathy. You know each other's rhythm. Yes. That you can meet, meet each other's needs without prodding, mm -hmm. without demanding, without pushing, without pressure. That is how you know that you are you are deeply connected. I like that, Benjamin. Yeah. Three like levels. That. There's low grade, convenience, mm -hmm. the right one. Okay. The right marriage takes such, takes process, takes patience. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, uh, Benjamin will realize that one of the reasons as to why uh, the, uh, most marriages are collapsing in this generation is because of marriage fatigue. And this fatigue is brought by this cohabiting that we are talking about. Yes. What can we do as young men and women looking forward to getting married to avoid this marriage fatigue that is haunting some marriages? Do you know, people get tired of staying together when because of monotony. Yeah. Routine replaces creativity. Mm -hmm. And they start doing, you do what I usually do, I respond, they usually respond, and around it goes. There's no variety. Mm -hmm. Or... They give too much importance to duty. Yeah. Paying bills. Providing. Mm -hmm. Until they ignore making each other happy. Mm -hmm. If you focus on both paying the bills and also creating good time for each other. Brahma, one of the things you have struggled with personally is fatigue because I work a lot. Yeah. I, 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 I enjoy people call our late president Moi workaholic. Mm -hmm. But I think... He, Many of us, you don't need to be a workaholic or churchaholic or alcoholic. All those are holics, mm. addicts. <laughs> they are not balanced. <laughs> don't be any holic. Yeah. Be balanced. Mm -hmm. But you must be a worker as a man. But don't value your work. You forget your marriage. Mm -hmm. Because the chemistry will dry up. The fire will go out. The connection, the fun, the energy, the vibe. The play, the laughter, brother. The, the in jokes, the stories. Mm. It's very easy to keep the fire with the woman alive if you are talking about life as you go. Mm -hmm. Don't let there be long silences. Don't let there be nothing to talk about. Catch up with her on every point. Update her on what is happening. Tell her what is next. Tell her what you, you plan to do next. If you keep updating each other, you know, exchanging like that, you find that the chemistry is alive. Don't allow there to be days of silence because one of you is angry. Mm -hmm. It interrupts the momentum, the conversation, the flow. Flow needs continuity. Mm -hmm. And as I told you, you need a mature woman who can talk out issues other than bottling up. And you also, don't bottle up issues. Mm -hmm. If something comes up and you need a few hours to be quiet, I only allow you to be quiet for a few hours. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Not a day and another one. 
when you come back, there'll be no flow now. I can't even know what I might say and offend you. Yeah. If you go quiet because of something I said, and I don't know what it is, you're th I'll be afraid to talk. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because I don't want you to be offended again. What is easier? Tell what you, say what you did not like, so that we sort out it out. We get an understanding, we go to the next thing. Right marriage, the happy marriage requires maturity. Mm -hmm. And requires you continue growing. Continue learning each other. Continue explaining. When I said that, I did not... Be, people interpret things according to their own experiences. Mm -hmm. You say something that you were innocent in saying, but I interpreted it according to my own biases. You must always remember that. Many, many times you, you're meeting a person who has said years of life without you. Years of life alone. If you want a happy marriage, let... If they say something and you felt like you interpreted this way mm -hmm. and it hurt you, express it. Mm -hmm. She'll be able to heal you, explain, and it, it is very relieving for your loved one to tell you I'm sorry. Yeah. It's very relieving. It's one love language. Mm -hmm. To own up your, 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 your mistakes that you hurt them is, is a love language. Yeah. It's very exciting. And that is why I always say that if there is something that we ought to learn in a relationships is how to say sorry. Exactly. If you don't learn how to say sorry, then learn how to... Uh, to, to, to let go those uh, replaceable people. Exactly. Now, Benjamin, talking about cohabiting, you'll realize that the stage at which somebody starts dating also dictates how far they will go mm. and if they're going to follow the right uh, principles for them to get married. For those people who are dating while they are at 40 and they are feeling fatigued, <laughs> as you are saying, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> they want to follow for anything that comes by. You see, they have a different philosophy of dating at that level as compared to these people who are 27, 28 dating. Because these ones are feeling we still have time to learn each other. Okay? How can these people at the top avoid such kind of uh, traps? There are people who, who date not because they're happy with the ones they're dating, but because they are afraid of being without anyone. Mm -hmm. And you to differentiate that. Some people are seeking marriage not because they have anything to offer in the marriage but because they are afraid of being alone yeah i see them you will see them coming to explain to you what is happening in their marriage and it sounds like <laughs> a horror movie <laughs> <laughs> they explain the mistreatment the abandonment the, in the infidelity the serial cheating you're wondering hey, 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 hey is that marriage what is that mm -hmm. and they ask you what well, what should i do <laughs> very lame question I can't even read this thing without fainting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why behave like a slave? And then suddenly I realize it. It's not marriage. It's fear of being alone. Mm -hmm. If you are dating midlife, watch out. You have fear of being alone. Some women are terrified of ending up alone. Oh my God. End yes. up alone. What if I never find anyone? Your identity bromoil should be solid with or without another person. Mm -hmm. As you desire marriage, pray God for marriage and trust him. As you search, you will find. Mm -hmm. Believe God that marriage is part of your destiny. That's what you want. And walk out there to meet your mate. But don't be desperate to just fall for anything. Mm -hmm. Your identity in God is solid. He said in Ephesians 3.20, you are accepted in the beloved. In 20 says he is able to do above what you pray. But in the same Ephesians says, you are accepted in Christ. Not in marriage. You are not accepted in Marriage is very important. as part of my journey in life. But you know it is only for this earth. Mm -hmm. Over there, the identity is different. Yeah. Those women who fall for anything, those men who fall for anything, just to avoid saying, I'm alone, remind yourself this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes being alone with peace is better than being married with misery. Mm -hmm. When you have to deal with a person with whom you don't like, you only like the status of being with them, mm -hmm. but you don't like them as a person. Yeah. <laughs> That's possible. So when you are midlife, clarify your life and then change your dating strategies. Mm -hmm. Those who are midlife, I have a package, I have a training for dating people. But I charge. I'm probably, let me warn people. Yeah. People c keep coming to me. I don't have a service that, that, that is for two shillings. If you don't want to pay, learn for free. We are putting content out there for free. If you want personalized training, then pay the cost. Mm -hmm. I keep meeting these people make me feel like vomiting. Don't tell me anything is expensive. Buy what you want at the price you want. Yes. Many women are midlife because they will not invest in getting the knowledge. Mm -hmm. they, they think they know. They are beautiful, they can slay, slay. And they have never slain anybody enough to marry them. 
Hmm. Hmm. Let's lay somebody enough to sleep with them. <laughs> Most men can sleep with women. Most. Yeah. Hmm. It's as easy as kicking a ball into the goalpost. Oh, here is a ball. <laughs> Many of them are not committed. There's a skill to dating. There's a skill to searching. So when you search in midlife, remember if you move in by cohabiting, thinking you're simplifying the marriage, now you're worsening your chances. Mm -hmm. Marriage should be moved fast. Should move fast. Dating should move fast. Check, check, move, check, move, check. Don't have sex. Don't get emotional letters. Don't drag it for years. If a person expresses interest, converse and see how possible it is. Mm -hmm. If it's not possible, move on. Now, let me touch on my favorite idiot group. <laughs> Brahman, you know they annoy me every day. Ah, Brahman, those people should pay me for they increasing my blood pressure. They need to. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is 24. Yesterday she's telling me, what do I do now? Uh, there's this guy, they have his child, now they live together, but he's cheating all over. I love him, but he's cheating. I'm already pregnant for him three months. Mm -hmm. If an idiot told all that madness, what did you say? 24! <laughs> The guys, I think, voted today. Pre-25s make such stupid mistakes, Brahma. I feel like kicking them. Just, what am I going to do? I tell her, do exactly what you are planning to do Thank you. when this happens. <laughs> <laughs> when you removed the clothes for him, he did, he did not rape you. He did not force you. Yes. You did it voluntarily. Mm -hmm. You should have, when you are so early in your life, you're supposed to be establishing foundation for your career. Yes. You're supposed to be estab establishing the path for your destiny. Mm -hmm. Then you cohabited, moved in with a man mm -hmm. to start complicating your life. Then you start acting like you're surprised. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I know? What do I know? Hmm. Who, uh, who are you fooling? Were you trapped into his house? You took yourself there. Maybe because of the money, of the status, of the good life. Continue enjoying good life, you idiot. <laughs> so, we, uh, with under 25s, I don't even reason with them. Mm -hmm. If you can, I tell them, if you can be ignorant and foolish enough to neglect your dreams, your happiness, your future, mm -hmm. and rush, rush into start living with a man, with a, start living with a person, with a woman, start living with a person and ignoring where you are going. My advice, where will you put it? The Bible asks, why should a fool come with the money to buy wisdom when he has no head to put it in? Anybody under 25 and you're cohabiting, having sex, you're too stupid for my reasoning. Don't engage me. You have nowhere to put it. <laughs> <laughs> this cohabiting, we are discouraging it among those who are mature enough. Yes. If you're under 25 you can and you can have sex, then what? This one, this morning you told me, I'm that been living with this guy for three years. No, he had no money now, he has a, a, a job, he's cheating all over. I tell her, so why are you telling me? I don't like gossip. Why are you gossiping here? Hmm. Hmm. What, what is, when do I come in? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> why do I come in? I tell her, if at 27 you can move and start cohabiting at 27 mm -hmm. with a man. <laughs> my friend, you are too suicidal. Maybe you should see, uh, you should be injected with a very big injection. <laughs> <laughs> Something is wrong in your head. 27, you move into the man. Yes. Cohabiting. You complicate your life at the prime of your youth. Mm -hmm. When you're supposed to be giving your crown to a king to form an empire, you're getting a hyena to start sleep playing wave and he's sleeping over there. Brahmel is a type of stupidity that is very rare in this country. Very rare. It's like a mutation of coronavirus. <laughs> How, can you wrap your head around a 28-year-old, a girl in her prime, yeah. moving in with a guy? When she should be looking for her husband to move into the next step of life, mm -hmm. and saying, I'm not sleeping with a man, except the one who married me. Yeah. So I keep telling them, if you can be 26, 28, 29, and you can move in with a man, <laughs> don't narrate that stupidity, except when you have already paid for me to buy aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> Pay fast for me to buy painkiller <laughs> to be able to listen to your stupidity. How can you complicate your life at exactly the wrong time? Mm -hmm. The wrong time. So, cohabiting complicates your life. When you are young, the complication is disastrous. Yeah. Takes away your career, takes away your identity. You miss the opportunity for finding a, a good guy. It's like when you're going to the market to buy a cow at the prime hour of the market. And instead of going to the market, you lie under a shade with another idiot to eat avocado until evening. <laughs> Brahman, in the evening you have stomach upsets because of eating too much avocado. Yeah. And you did not even get the cow at the prior hours. How many losses are those? That's what happens when that 20-something moves in with anybody. Yeah. 
It's a double loss, disastrous loss, which, is, which I, up to this day, I can't wrap my head around the thinking of a girl who does that. The most girls who are prime, fresh in the market, they're the 126, 127, 28, 29, 30, they're very fresh, mm -hmm. very fresh. And now she sells on credit. So I don't know. You decided to sell on credit. Continue following loaning defaulters. You can also consult Tala on <laughs> techniques <laughs> on how to recover defaulters. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you, you, uh, this guy has loan arrears. He has never gone to see my parents. Mm -hmm. mm. Did you consult me when you were giving the loan? So please excuse me. I don't have an uh, auctioneering service. <laughs> Cohabiting is a disaster when you're young in life. Benjamin, some people start cohabiting when they feel that we we blend together well. Okay? That they feel that this chemistry we can't just If you blend, get married. <laughs> <laughs> Do you blend enough to get married? Yes or no? If no, leave them alone. If yes, get married. There's no point of moving. <laughs> In campus, we had girls who had already moved into the boyfriend's houses. Uh -huh. In campus. And they used to have sex like donkeys. We couldn't even, even sleep. What to you if they are your immediate neighbor? You'd think next house are, are two horses on a steroids. <laughs> and it's embarrassing because you can't tell the campus rep. <coughs> There's a noise coming to the neighborhood, from the neighborhood. Brahma, those people don't sleep. I don't know what they drink. Aphrodisiac. I don't know what it is. The bed is against the wall. We turn on the radio. Me and my Zuki was my class. We turn on the radio, the radio roommate. We to try to <laughs> put our own sound effect. Where? <laughs> Today they are nowhere. Some of those girls were used and dumped. Mm -hmm. They were just availing themselves to be used, as, as, as used and dumped. There's, some of the ladies were very principled when they came in. They were very level-headed. From there, their life took a spiral. To this day, they behave cheap. Give themselves to whoever gives them any kind of attention. They lost track. Mm -hmm. Cohabiting is a disaster at any age. No commitment, no security. When you're told to fill forms, whether you're married or single, what do you feel? <laughs> There's no box for cohabiting. <laughs> There's one for, uh, I would rather not say. <laughs> no, I saw one for gender. Male, female. <laughs> Let me pass. <laughs> you're not married, you're not single. <laughs> what are we? Mm -hmm. Don't complicate your life. Life is hard as it is. For the same reason I told you never to write online, is relationship status complicated. complicated. Mm. Don't make crisis your identity. Clarify your life. Either you are in or you are out. You cannot tell the world you are confused and confusion is your name. Mm. There's a guy who wrote here confused with the K. His name tag is K, confused. Then somebody says, hey, uh, confused is not spelled like that. See, that's how confused I am. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> don't write complicated, don't write cohabiting, don't write a situationship, don't write living together. Mm -hmm. Clarify your life. Be patient and follow the process. Don't write look for shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Follow the process and find yourself a proper marital status. All right, there you have it, guys. Shortcuts are long cuts. Thank you for viewing Benjamin Zulu Show. Till next time.